carry force to flash and Zeus, he gets nice barreled and ult over the wall. KT, you overextended yourself, mate. Hello and welcome to the Telecom War. KT is facing T1 in the summer split. Let's see if this Telecom War KT can finally get a win after I believe two years now. But we obviously hope for T1 to continue to reign supreme in the summer split. A source of advantage here for KT theoretically is Ona does have his ulti available. He's just going to steal away the red and wander away slowly. That's the strategy. Aria thinking about coming through from Emperor's Divide as there is the Cyclone. Ona is real dead. That's first blood going to the Azir. Great. Um, I mean, sure. Rascal, as I said, Juani roaming from top lane without TP into the bot side jungle is a bit weird, but um. Like, we had flash up, we could have just flashed a wall there, uh, but hey, um, plates being traded across the board, small, small gold lead for KT, but again, their comp is way easier to execute here in this one, T1 with so short range, more or less even four melee champions, uh, it's not, it's not looking great, not looking great. He has ignited as well. Zayas could be in trouble, but what? No, just popped. I wasn't expecting the uh, yeah, bristle to just be, be, be exposed like that. Yo, ho, ho, there is someone who didn't notice the Trinity Force item power spike, and that's going to be top lane turret, the God of Thunder, and uh, yeah, Rascal, the solo kill god from Spring, now taken down by the solo kill god of well, our current times. So good so far from our man here, okay. Herald fight here. Um, obviously very important objectives, the second Herald. Um, so far, everything goes on one target. Oh god. The problem is like, our DPS is not there. Yeah, it's an ace. C clean ace. Uh, oh yeah, who, who, who would have seen that one coming? Um, our team comp can burst. is so bad bro oh look at our champions like Kassadine is not online yet Kalista is not doing any damage against any of these enemy champions here we see the fight one more time um yeah Gumayushi forces his ult out very early then we get some wombo combo but well does it matter aiming is free firing the entire time Arya yeah a bit cc'd early but then that's that and T1 is not doing damage at this point. Like, like Diana with one item. Do 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 we de read the fucking balance changes? Like, her flat penetration from Rocket Belt is useless right now. It's not doing anything. Kassadin, his base damage was somewhat relevant, I guess, a year ago. But nowadays, like, his base damage is not there yet. Not there yet with only the Everfrost. And yeah, Nara's cool. He did a lot. He did nearly. Potentially most damage for that for T1. But that's it. Like, we don't have enough damage, and KT is tankier and has more base damage at this point. Oh, the T1 special nowadays. Not throwing a Baron, but sneaking a Baron. Um, this is just unbelievable that they keep getting away with it, and there's no blue trinket, no nothing. Gumayushi carrier, they are probably going to die. Gumayushi, thanks for your sacrifice, but T1, they get a four man baron for this. Ooh, we get a pick here onto aiming, I think. Yeah, and that should be a great moment here. Arya comes in and without Faker there, it's it looks a bit hard. Faker still level 15 also. Ooh, Zeus. Not getting anywhere, and yeah, that's T1 now dying with all the Baron buffs up. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. And Faker, like, he has no damage. He has no damage in his entire build. Utility and cooldown reduction, which also is utility if you want. Like, he's going to buy his first damage item right now. Uh, Faker is not winning this. Ooh, that was a nice buffering. But they're losing this fight. Ooh, Zeus, well, he jumped over the... Wow. Yo, this Zeus guy, man, he is, he's kind of good, right? He's kind of good. Uh, 
I don't know. Like. Do, do, I, do I have to say anything about the strength of Kalista right now? No, no, I, I don't, I don't, I, I don't think so, right? I don't, I don't think so, right? I, I don't think so. But hey, wait, um, T1 is just bad. Like uh, G2, they would have beaten uh, KT with these champions. KW. They are starting it now. Faker is TPing in the back. I don't think they have any vision of this. Uh, he has a flanking angle. Maybe T1 can land a wombo combo. Zeus will. Oh, owner with the steal. Ariel also super low. Faker might find an angle, but nope. The, uh, the Wukong and the Swine are just killing T1's backline. And yes, Faker finds a return kill. Yes, they steal the Baron. But so what? So what? The jungle top laner just killed T1's backline. The Swine and Monkey. Yep, great. Absolutely great. Um, hopefully we don't see ever anything like this ever again. Um... I don't know what we can say to this. Zeus, you are still very good. You are very skilled. Thank you for playing for us. Um, but why? Why are we electing these champions? God damn it, man! Let's go back. Like, what is this? Like, these two picks into Wukong as Kasadin uh, being picked in general is okay. He obviously struggles a bit and is not on theme with these two champions. Azir and Ezreal being picked into Nar Kalista is also completely fine. They outrange and KT is just going for flat out easy team fight and scaling. Now T1 with these two champions, they are on a timer. Then they pick Kasadin who is not on a timer. So like what the fuck are you doing? Champions completely misaligned. Then let's not talk about bands. Then we see Diana. Diana with Kasadin. Are you completely insane right now? Uh, you're devaluing both of your champions so early on. Then, obviously, Diana into this. Is like, what? Like, what? Like, in, in, against Ezreal? Huh? Against Wukong? Huh? Like, sure, you outfarm him, but so what? So what? That's only for the first one or two clears. Afterwards, Wukong is also fine. And what does CS mean? Like, your damage is not relevant. Have you checked what happened to AP champions right now? No, you haven't. Sejuani and Tom Kench come in. Tom Kench again, not perfect as a pick, but I mean, it's always a bailout. Um, so it's fine. And Sejuani also not amazing with these champions, but it's fine. We have three melee champions here now at the end of it. And well, what is Kalista going to do? Even if you don't get hit by the ult, because well, we have dashes here on our squad, um, the slow field is going to kill Kalista regardless. The base damage of these champions, Wukong, Sejuani, Tom Kench, like they can just kill Kalista, Diana on their own. And then Carrier goes for like, I, I play a fun champion. But he's also kind of forced now to play some random bullshit because, well, he they already picked Kalista for him. So, well, he has to make some use of this Kalista pick because Guma is not doing going to do anything this game, right? Kalista has been now for the last couple of years always a pick where you pick it for the support. Because Kalista, after all the nerfs she went through, and after all the well balance changes, new champions and whatsoever, she has not been relevant ever. And well, and, and in this meta, like it's just so silly. T1 from like any everything besides the Kassadin is bad, and the Kassadin also turns out to be bad because well he's being picked into this comp. That's it. Kassadin versus these champions can function. Uh, it's obviously not the his like ideal world but it can work out but not with these teammates and uh yeah t1 again lost heart and draft and uh now i'm going to read this comment and it says oh no you're just salty t1 is on red side how can they win and obviously that's going to be true how can one ever win on red side okay coming in into game number two um kt as you saw just a second ago won the first game and now we are on blue side and if you ask our head coach that means that we have to win because Blue side is OP, red side is always instant loss. So uh, glad that we get this free win here. No, no. Ooh. Let's see here, Zeus. I think even he won't be able to evade this gank. Yeah. Great start there for KT, not only in the bot lane, but now also a gank works in the top lane. Okay. 
Let's see, Cuss has reached level 6, but Owner not, and with life also being there. Um, it is a flash for flash trade from Owner and Rascal, but they also get the kill. Um, potentially plates are being uh, collected in the bot lane for Guma and a wave also being lost. So it is questionable how like worth and gold it is here. Ooh, flash forward. Carrier still only level 5, so that means Guma will fall. And well, Carrier he gets out, but yeah, very aggressive. And this is what KT needs to be doing. So uh, yeah, very price worthy. Taken out two and a half items. Very good. Very potent now with his rockets. And this time he is the only AP source of damage. Well, that's great. So there's little to no incentive to buy magic resistance. Oh, we might get a fight here. Carrier force to flash and Zeus, he gets nice barrels and ults over the wall. KT, you overextended yourself, mate. You walked straight into this. That should be the Baron here for T1 now. Okay, so with this decently decisive teamfight win and Death Timers being as they are, uh, T1, they might be able to get the Baron here. They have the DPS now. Again, remember T1, they have been scaling decently fine, sure. Uh, it was a tough match, but I don't think Rascal can do anything here and T1, they have the DPS with this comp at least. We see a quick replay here. They're overextending for the red buff here, but look, Zeus over the wall with a control ward, absolutely out of vision, gets the slow of the ult and then, well, yeah. Kumayushi here pushing down mid lane while T1 is standing off here for the Baron. Faker with the package and Aiming gets in a couple of spears, so uh, that's a bit interesting here. Arya looking for a catch onto Faker, but package still available. He can't just buffer. He he can't buffer it. He just W's through them all. Stopwatches and the burn is huge. Carib just gobbles him up. Zeus in a bit of his position there after the uh, ult from life, but ooh, but Gumayushi, look at this guy. He's free firing. Is this a double? Is this? Okay, oh, Arya also dies and well, the start of this fight looked a bit rough for our guys here, but Faker separates the fight, nearly sacrificing himself, Kara with the Devourer in time, secures the life of his mid laner, sure Zeus, a bit out of position there after life finds a good engage I believe, and um, yeah, we sit here shortly, yeah, T1 here, 55,000, they're completely online now, three items on everyone, uh, life, you are just going to die and aiming is not going to do enough damage. You forgore. You forgore. Your AD carry is a support. That can just jump around a bit. That's a GA. Owner doesn't get over the wall. But well. He is going to sacrifice himself for the better of the team. Faker here. Uh, yeah also staying alive. Unkillable Demon King something something. And uh, yeah that should be the game. T1 is equalizing the series. One to one. Uh, way better draft. Um. And KT obviously also a bit poor in the drafting decision, but uh, <laughs> it's just insane. Like how 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 can T1 do something like game one draft and then immediately after go for something as well good as game two draft? Okay, coming now into say it, game number three. T1 now on the red side. Does that mean we're going to lose? Let's see here. Anyway, uh, a bit of a standoff here. Oh, that was a very good hook by life but uh carrier with an immediate ult afterwards and yeah that's life dying that's a possess and owner probably flashes over for a hook ah yikes that's sad but uh, yeah uh interesting so zeus now here being attacked doesn't have the ult but well has a dash owner also in wings so that's good umayushi has ult and flash not really in any danger here um I mean that's a red buff. Oh, red buff just ticks out. But the burn is still enough. Wow, that is really cool. Owner here with the burn of the red buff gets the kill, even though the red buff has already run out. <laughs> that's good, that's good. That's a nice 2v2 kill there. And I mentioned T1's top side is the way where they can make plays, especially early on the rest of the map. More or less just being chilling. But yeah, in the meantime, obviously, Zeus was able to destroy that top lane turret and now he is quite a lot ahead. Faker here uh, got interrupted and 
yeah, with the ignite, he is sure to fall. Zeus here also overextends. Just a follow-up flash from Zeus, uh, from Cust should be enough. On the other side, Rascal overextended. Even with the ignite, it wasn't enough to kill Faker. He got the flash though. Not sure how exactly that planned out, but uh, kills traded on both sides and uh, yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. All positions really uh, 41 ahead in gold. AD carry position is a bit uh, even, but uh, yikes. Uh, yeah, life so far, right? <laughs> really finding many, many good picks there with this. Uh, with this Nautilus, obviously one of his uh, staple champions throughout the years, and oh, that's the plasma stack being applied, and that's aiming just going in and taking the kills. The Kaiser special. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get here looking for a play onto Zeus, who is still mini Nar. He is surely being blown up, and well, now Carrier, he wanted to help, but. Sure to fall as well. TP from uh, Rascal again comes in. Maybe that's the idea with the Ionian boots. Perma TP towards your team. Maybe that's it. Maybe maybe that's the idea. But uh, well, this is more and more gold now going into KT's pockets. And even with this, this is a massive turret being taken here. We see gold lead from T1 shrinking ever so more. Well, T1, they might be able to chunk down this turret here, but ooh, Gumayushi forced to. Uh, Pop the cleanse. Uh, that was very, very bad. Oh no, oh no, no, Gumayushi. Panic flashes. Oh god, what a disaster. Oh no, Zeus, what the fuck are you guys doing? What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck is going on, man? Oh, what are you guys doing? Oh, jeez, Luis, what is going on? Look at this fucking horrible place. Uh, cleanses late, and then look at this. What is that flash? What is that flash? You flash the Q, and then you ult the uh, Nautilus R, like. This is like stock standard and then what is this TP? Like Zeus, TP, he was out of it and then he TPs into all of... Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh God. I mean, it's not that the game is lost, but this, these, the quality of these plays just makes me mad, man. I don't want to lose my hair. I don't want to go bald after watching T1 play. Good macro play for T1, very good, very nice heads up moment with the red side obviously. Um, yes, it's the losing side forever, haha. <laughs> um, but if we are not uh, inting, then uh, the red side is incredibly strong for scaling comps uh, due to the fact that Baron defenses are incredibly easy. Uh, Carrier here not getting a reset. I don't know why he's moving, like what the idea there is. Owner gets in, gets the steal, very good, very good. Um, I don't know why Carrier like opts in to continue to fight there. Like, like he doesn't need to do that. Like, he doesn't need to be the aggressor here. Look at this positioning, really weird. Uh, like, why is he moving towards this brush there? Uh, like, no need. But again, uh, owner gets in, steals it. Very nice. Uh, again, a bit, uh, a bit. Yeah, let's see. Let's stop it. It's not. It's not the greatest days uh, for T1. Carrier again, very aggressive. Sure, he's quite tanky, but uh, yeah, that's good, that's good. And this time T1 has a numbers advantage. Sure, Sejuani is split pushing very aggressively, but uh, well, T1, they have Baron empowered recalls. Ooh, aiming, very good, but Carrier, even better. Uh, it is an inhib inhibitor turret traded, but again, Baron recalls, no inhib uh, being traded. Still, nice response from Rascal. So uh, these fights are somewhat uncomfortable for T1. They have had no time to set a bit of vision up here for uh, for this dragon fight here. Um, the game shouldn't be lost over this objective. 
Um, we're at 33 minutes, so dev timers are there. Faker doesn't get the package. We don't even get the soul. Faker immediately flashes after the respawn, but I think the fight is won. Uh, Arya is doing a heck lot of damage, but owner is getting nice resets and yeah. Mwah. That should be the game TPing into the mid lane. Uh, ah. Owner cancels the reset and oh, 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 closer than you want. Uh, T1 should just get this Drake here at this point. Um, KT, they really have to outplay hard here in this fight. Um, like they really have to play super well. Um, uh, uh, okay. Uh, should I ask questions or should we just leave it as, as that? Okay, Faker, he just goes into this entire squad, trades HP, uh, trades his life with aiming, but obviously that's fine because aiming is all the DPS for KT. But well, Gumayushi is still alive, so even if Faker falls at the response of that package play, yeah, like. If, Faker is just a suicide bomber. Ooh. But uh, yeah, Faker, he just goes in, says, yeah, now you're all going to die now. And uh, well, there's no wave. <laughs> there's no there, there's no wave and Rascal is going to be able to attack that wave. Wait, 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 wait. Arya is going to TP into the enemy base. It's going to get an inhibitor there. Oh my God. No, no. This game is going to become a clown fiesta of like un... Oh no. Can he cancel? Oh no, no! TP Mega now? Okay, very good. Very, very smart by Zeus. That's going to be interesting. Stall the death. Stall the death. Stall the death. Stall the death. Good, good, good. Delay, delay, delay. This is very good, very good. T1 hard winning here right now. Yeah, kill him now. Uh, oh, yeah, that's amazing. Very, very big brain. The team that is dr drafting like this does big brain moves like staggering death timers. I can't believe it. <laughs> okay, so KT, they have started the objective here. Um, but again, red side defense. Owner, he has the avenue. Uh, he can always enter this. He can always enter this. The coin flip doesn't go their way, but... Is the fight going to be there? Aiming goes into the backline, but he... Well, he gets Faker, but he gets immediately popped. And Faker, again, he has the GA. Arya also bound to fall. This is about to be a clean sweep. Nah, not exactly clean, but that's a quadra kill for our man in the AD carry position. The Guguma God. I, I believe it was a quadra. My Korean is sadly still not up to par, but this should be the game. Uh, wow. Um, props to KT. Sure. T1 not the cleanest performance, but wow, KT played this so well. They really punished T1's mistakes. They really played towards their comp. They created the chaos, the vision pockets that they really needed to. Very, very good. Obviously, in these late game fights, um, they need miracle outplays. Um, they need aiming to completely kill both backliners uh, because it's really unrealistic for Arya or the Wukong to even get close to that. Um, so yeah, KT, props to them if you keep at it. You're going to be great. You're going to be up there in the playoffs this time. Look, we can win on red side. It's possible. <laughs> That's going to be a good 2-0 start of the first week. Hope the next week we can improve upon that. Maybe adjust a bit more with drafting and a bit more to the meta. Again, uh, I think the Korean read on the meta has not been all that great. We still see like MSI meta picks. <sighs> Whatever. Hope you enjoyed yourself, hope you have a great day, see each other in the near future my friends.